Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon P1000 and Sony RX10iV. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon P1000 and the Sony RX10iV are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of July 2018 and the 12th of September 2017. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P1000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX10iV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon P1000 and the Sony RX10iV. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon P1000. And here are some sample photos from the Sony RX10iV. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P1000. I am a DSLR photographer who loves bird photography, and I have a heavy setup of camera gear. However, I wanted a lighter camera for casual use, so I tried out the Nikon Coolpix P1000. The camera has some limitations, such as low light performance and image quality at high zoom ranges, but it's still a great point-and-shoot camera. It's lightweight and easy to use, and with some practice, I was able to get great images within the 24 to 1500 mm range. I recommend this camera for those looking for an all-in-one solution, as long as you understand and work with its limitations. After using the Nikon P1000, for several months and taking over 10,000 photos, I have to say that this is the best birding camera I have ever owned. The electronic viewfinder is bright and detailed, making it like a handheld image stabilized spotting scope with automatic focus and brightness adjustment. It allows me to catch birds in flight and capture still pictures at long distances much faster than before. The low light performance and autofocus at long zoom settings are not great, but the easy manual focus and the ability to switch to manual focus quickly make up for it. Overall, the P1000 is a substantial upgrade and worth the price. If I could redesign it, I would make the grip bigger, the battery larger, and replace the viewfinder with the one from the P1000. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX10iV. The Sony RX10M4 camera is great overall, but it consistently goes out of focus when shooting in the HFR mode at 960 FPS. After exchanging the camera, I discovered that the issue is actually due to the low resolution in this mode, which Sony did not disclose upfront. Despite this drawback, the camera has impressive features. I've been using this camera and I'm impressed with the zoom and sharpness. The autofocus is quick and it's great for daytime sports or wildlife photography. However, the high ISO noise and bokeh aren't as good as APS-C or full-frame cameras, and the mechanical shutter has limitations at high zoom, overall it's good for low-light pictures of stationary or slow-moving objects. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon P1000. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Sony RX10iV, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 